Really? I'm on the news? That's so cool. I was just helping Jamal because he dropped his project. And mommy, daddy. I want to be famous, but like, for helping. My daughter, you were amazing today. Your teacher emailed me, said you helped a friend who was sad. That's kindness, baby. I'm proud of your heart, not just your grades. This video is the step-by-step -step guide on how to create this animated story. The first step is to generate our story. And for this one, we're going to use what is working in our niche. We're going to go on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts and find the videos that are going viral. And once we find the videos that are going viral, we're going to transcribe those videos and we're going to ask ChatGPT to create a new version of that script. We're going to ask ChatGPT to relate that script. You can also. You can ask ChatGPT to create a conversation of three people. A maximum of three characters will be enough for YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikTok. But if you want to go with the long form content, you can go with as many characters as you want. In my case, I went with the three characters. I asked ChatGPT to create a story of three people, Zoe, her dad, and her mom. It ended up being very wrong for me, so I went in again and helped ChatGPT. I wanted ChatGPT to create a conversation of a maximum of 30 words for every one of my characters. Now that you have the transcript of your story, we can move on to the next step. The next step is to generate audios for our videos. And for this one, we're going to use 11 labs. In 11 labs, you're going to do a few things. First, I copied the conversation in ChatGPT and pasted it in 11 labs. The next thing that you're going to do is selecting the best voice depending on your needs and the nature of your character. In my case, I went with a child voice for Zoe, a female voice for the mom, and a male voice for the dad. I also had to generate the voice of the narrator. The next step is to generate the photos on which our video is going to be based. And for this one, we're going to use a new AI photo generator called Open Ad AI. You're going to ask ChatGPT to create prompts for the story that ChatGPT had generated. Now you're going to copy and paste that prompt in Open Ad. AI. One of the best features in OpenArt AI is that you can use a photo as a reference. And this is the part where you create consistent characters in OpenArt AI. You take a photo and you set it as a reference. Uh, that means each and every creation that you are going to create thereafter is going to have the elements of the first photo that you said as a reference. In my case, I had this family photo, so I set it as a reference. And then I ended up generating photos for Zoe, the daddy, and the mom. And I got to say they came out pretty good. Now, open art just like ChatGPT 4.0 generates wonderful videos. However, they generate videos that are square in terms of the aspect ratio. If you want to create long form YouTube content, you're gonna need to expand the background of the photos. And for this one, I used a two called Adobe Firefly. Okay, in Adobe Firefly, I did four things. The first, I uploaded the photo that I wanted to broaden the background. I chose from four options. There is insert, expand, remove, and part. Now because we want to broaden our background, we want to expand the background, I went with expand background. Next, there's an option that you can put a prompt. In my case, I wanted to introduce no things in the photos. So what I did is, I said include things that are normally found in the living room, like TV and bookshelf. And here are the products. Also, I had an issue where I generated the photos of Zoe with the kind of with the legs. So I went into Adobe Firefly and asked it to remove one of the legs. And the results were very impressive. Take a look. The next step is generating the videos. We're going to generate our animated story videos in Hedra. Once you're in Hedra, you're going to do three things. You're going to upload the audio that you generated in 11 laps. You're going to upload the photo that you generated in OpenRT. And finally, you're going to put your plump. I put this plump. Finally. Finally, you're going to put the clips together in CapCut or video editor of your choice. In CapCut, you're going to drag and drop all the clips that you generated in Hedra. And depending on your story, you're going to arrange them in the right order. In my case, I had four clips. I had the clip with everybody in the family and the clip of the mother, the clip of the dad, and the clip of Zoe. So I put them in the right order and I ended up having this video. One evening, Zoe, her dad, and her mum were chatting in the living room. 
After retiring from a long day, when Zoe's dad saw her on the news. How was school, Zoe? You're on the news, my daughter. Your class made the local paper. Right here. Look at that smile. That's my girl. Future scientist and superstar. Really? I'm on the news? That's so cool. I was just helping Jamal because he dropped his project. And mommy, daddy. I want to be famous, but like, for helping. My daughter, you were amazing today. Your teacher emailed me, said you helped a friend who was sad. That's kindness, baby. I'm proud of your heart, not just your grades.